Well, what we've been able to show, I think pretty convincingly, is that the same pieces of ape jaw were used in two separate Piltdown sites. And what we've shown is that the tooth from the second Piltdown site, this tooth here, um, with a very high degree of certainty, came from the same jawbone that was found at Piltdown 1. Charles Dawson, who obviously is a main candidate as the hoaxer, he must have had the whole jaw in his possession. He modified it and planted it at Piltdown 1, and then he kept back part of it and modified and planted this molar at the Piltdown 2 site. Well, I think because Charles Dawson is the only person identified with that second Piltdown find, uh, I think it shows that he was centrally involved in the whole business. In our view, he was certainly capable of doing all of the modification. And we also think we can demonstrate in the analyses we've done that the hoaxer, or hoaxers, but let's say Dawson, um, they actually kind of learnt as they went along. 